Hey guys, today I'm going to try to explain to you how biochar works and why you should put it in your garden. The primary reason you should put it in your garden is because you want healthy plants, healthy, happy plants. Normally when we do that, we do it by adding fertilizer, NKP sometimes, or fish emulsion or whatever compost. We add this to our garden and to our plants and that makes us have happy healthy plants. Unfortunately a lot of water solubles will run through the plant soil and they become pollution down here. And then our plants become unhappy plants. So what we have to do is we have to add more NKPs, more fish emulsion, more fertilizer, more compost so that we can have those happy plants again. What biochar does is it kind of stops that uh, water solubles from running through and becoming pollution. What it does is it absorbs the uh, fertilizers, it absorbs the nutrients that our plants are, are not absorbing. So, so the way I see biochar is it acts like a, like a battery. The battery that can be recharged and discharged. So what happens if you put biochar to your healthy plants or in your soil and then plant in it? What you end up with is unhappy plants. And the reason that is, is that battery isn't charged. That biochar has not been charged with nutrients. It is an empty battery and what it does is it sucks the energy out of the soil and you have those unhappy plants and it begins to charge itself with that those those nutrients the nitrogen and, and things like that that your plants need to be health, healthy happy plants so what do you do well the first thing you need to do is you need to charge that battery you need to take the, that fish emulsion or your your NKPs and charge that battery up. So first thing you need to do is add your fertilizer to your biochar. And the way that I, I do it and a lot of people do it is, for instance, I had, I'll use chicken manure. Um, and I'll put it in a five gallon bucket with my biochar and I'll mix it up and I'll leave it set for a month. In that time, that biochar absorbs a lot of those water solubles um, from that chicken manure. It absorbs a lot of those, those uh, nutrients. And it also kind of neutralizes the chicken manure so it's not so hot. So then you can take that biochar and chicken manure and you can add it to your plants. And then you'll have those healthy plants. The biochar will continue to charge in that soil. So what you'll have is the biochar sucking up nutrients that your plants aren't absorbing, therefore mitigating the pollution. You're not having um, nutrients running into water systems and causing the pollution problem. Holding on to that like your car barrier would um, and allowing your plant to absorb that nutrients and continue to stay happy, reducing the amount of fertilizers you have to add to your plants. So then you're no longer adding or you're adding a lot less of those nutrients to your plants your, and the stuff your plants isn't absorbing and be, to be happy with is then going and recharging that battery. So it's kind of a, a closed system now, rather than this, to this, to this, to this. You have this, to this, to this, back to this, back to this, back to this. And so that's my quick explanation of how biochar works. Um, if you think I missed something, please put it in the comments. Um, a little discussion on this would be great because I want to learn more and I'm trying to share with others so that they can learn something. Um, so anyways, 
Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.